In this tutorial, we will learn how to make a waved wall made of wooden slats using array modifier. First of all, let's create a cylinder. We will go to modify panel and add uh, 10 mm radius. Uh, the height will be 3000 mm and then we will convert this um, to editable poly for our array we need at least two elements so we'll go to element and copy that to duplicate it clone to element so as you can see here in the video now let's create our uh, weight wall using a spline we'll go to spline and add some uh, busier points uh, like this I think that's it now let's go to modify uh, open vertices and just adjust a little bit our spline so it goes smooth and nice for our wall As you can see, our spline is not nice and smooth, so we need to go to interpolation and increase the number of steps to 20. This will give us a better result. Now let's add array modifier. Go to its settings and distribution set to spline and fill. Pick the spline and here we go, uh, all our geometries are arranged uh, using the spline path. So here we go, the first result we can achieve. Now we need to add some more additional uh, settings. Let's increase the spacing to see what is the result. Let's change the space to 2 millimeters, so we have a little bit of space between our slats. When we select the spline, we can move the vertices, we can adjust the shape of it, and as you can see, all the elements follow the path, and the array moves uh, with the spline so that gives us uh, more control of our wall that gives us more control of every element that's attached to this spline in order to have material variation on our slats we need to go to material id section and change to random then we will go to corona material library to uh, choose a wood material oh, here we go but first of all uh, let's create a multi-sub object material this is a material that gives us the opportunity to attach different material to different ids I will go with walnut. Let's set the number of uh, IDs to five and let's attach this material to our first ID. Now let's copy the first material, uh, attach it to the second ID. And I will add a color correction uh, map between the diffuse map and material so that I can change the saturation, increase a little bit of brightness to get a different color of our base material. So I'll have a variation on that. I will repeat the process for a couple more materials and attach them to each ID so that I can get all the variation with different materials I need for my geometry. And of course, as you can see, I will add to them um, color correction and set up the 
different uh, brightness and contrast and saturation for each material so they all look different and gives me that nice realistic look of a wooden wall made of slats that are each individual and different color. After that, let's select our multi-sub object material and attach it to our geometry. And as you can see, our slats look different and have that variation I was looking for. We also have the opportunity to go to array modifier and change the seed to um, get different variations, different uh, options of our material. This is it guys, I hope you liked this video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments and if you want to see our future tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.